And so in part one, we were able to answer uh, the first question here. And uh, in part two, now uh, we're going to look at, at part A, which is sort of an extension of the first uh, question. Um, and you'll, you'll recognize that much of the same approach is essentially being implemented uh, as we work our way through conversions uh, to eventually get to a particular outcome, if that makes sense. Uh, so it's asking us how, how many moles of B uh, are produced when 0 0.25 grams of BF3 uh, is, is used. Um, and so you'll look at, you'll essentially look at the original chemical reaction uh, which is what we're given from the previous problem. And you'll sort of recognize that, you know, we're, we're talking about two guys here, right? We're, we're talking about, uh, you know, player number one in this case is B, which is, which is product. Um, and, and player number two is, is BF3, which, which, is, which is a reactant. And again, this is sort of, it, it's, it's typical um, uh, question asking style to give you the product um, before giving you the uh, uh, sort of give you the um, give you the product before giving you the reactant. I mean, causation would tell you that you know first uh, it'd be better if they were to ask the reactant first uh, and then equate it to the product. Um, whereas now they're just sort of they're saying, okay, how many moles of the product are produced if you use this much reactant? Uh, product reactant, right? Uh, like I said, the causation is reactant product, right? That's how that would go. Um, but, uh, you know, that's just how they ask it. And it doesn't really matter, right? Because we can go off to the side and make sense of all this. Uh, so how many moles of B? So that's essentially what we're trying to find. So as we string along our conversion factors, we're eventually going to end up at moles of B. And that's how we'll know that we can stop. Where will we start, right? We talked about where we'd end. Where would we start? Well, we would start at 0 0.25 grams of BF3. Um, which in this case is, uh, so, so which is in this case 0 0.25 grams. So we, our, our starting point, and you can think of this sort of as a race, um, kind of our, star, our starting point is 0 point, so 0 0.25 grams uh, of BF3. And our conversion factors should eventually take us so that we end up with moles of B. What's the plan, right? What's the plan? So the plan, uh, and I'm going to put this on the side here, um, the plan is to first equate uh, BF3 to basically make a ratio uh, so that we can so that we can use that as a conversion factor of BF3 in terms of moles to B in terms of moles, right? I mean, that, uh, that would allow us to eventually, you know, Say well, okay. I can I can toggle the amount of BF three. I can tell you how many how much B I have, um, and it, and at the same time, likewise, sort of going in reverse, you could toggle how much B uh, you, you have, and you could you could tell how much uh, BF three that would be, uh, basically. Um, so uh, you know this is sort of our main goal. But um, in order to do that, uh, you know obviously we need moles of BF three. Um, and uh, we have to obviously, you know, bypass the fact that it's expressed as grams. So first we need to be able to, um, to take care of this grams and express it as moles of BF3. Um, and then we can eventually get to uh, how much BF3 in moles is, um, is, is, is B moles, or in other words, you know, you could, you could say the same in reverse, how, ma how much B moles is BF3. So, um, so essentially what you would do, and this is sort of the starting point here, um, you'd say, okay, well, I need moles of BF3 first. I don't want to deal with grams. So how, how can, can I make a conversion factor here so that my grams of BF3 would cancel out and I'd be left with moles of BF3? Well, again, and you, you'll go back to part one and you know, you'll look at it and you'll say, okay, well, I need moles, I need something that can give me gram, these many grams of BF3 equal these many moles of BF3. And that conversion factor uh, is nothing but molar mass, right? So if you take BF3, uh, and if you take the molar mass of this guy, what you'll have here, and this is molar mass, uh, what you'll have here is X amount in grams of BF3 equals one mole of BF3 right? 
And what that would allow you to do is it would, it would allow you to put the X amount of grams down here and the mole of BF3 up here. You'd cancel out your X amount of grams with 0 0.25 grams of BF3, and then you'd be left with your mole equivalent of BF3. So, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're then tasked with another intermediary step, which is to, to, to calculate the molar mass. And, and that's nothing but taking the atomic weight of each of the uh, sort of the elements, the atoms uh, in this compound um, with fluorine, we have three uh, atomic weights and then adding them up and then expressing that as grams per mole because we are talking about molar mass, not talking about molecular uh, mass, we're talking about molar mass, so it's grams per mole. So for, for boron here, if you were to look up boron on the periodic table, uh, you would get 10.8, um, 11 or one, you could just say one grams per mole, that's its molar mass. And then for fluorine, if you were to just look that up individually, you would get 18.9 grams per mole. And, and that is uh, for fluorine, but you, you have to also take into account you have three fluorines. So you, you also want to be able to multiply this whole entire thing by three. The addition of this both will be BF3. So 10.81 uh, plus uh, three multiplied by 18.9 will be your molar mass for BF3. And if you were to do that, uh, you would essentially come about to having 67.81 uh, grams per mole. So this itself is a conversion factor because you can say 67.8 um, grams of BF3 uh, is equal to one mole of BF3. In other words, if you had 67.8 grams of BF3, then that would have 6.02 times 10 to the power 23 uh, molecules of BF3 in it. Um, but that's not too much of our concern, conceptually at least. We wanted a conversion factor that would take us from grams of BF3 to moles of BF3 so that we could put it um, you know, on, on this fraction bar in such a way that our grams of BF3 cancel out and we're left with moles of BF3. So what that would do is, it, you know, we could take our 67.81 grams of BF3 and then put our mole on the top, and this is of course of BF3, and you know our grams of BF3 would cancel out. Our end result would be in uh, moles of BF3. But again, you know the question. You always go back to the question. Ask yourself, is that what the question asked? The question did not ask how many moles of BF3 do you want, um, or how many. How, how, it, it is. It's a nothing about moles of BF3. It's not. It's asking moles of B. So, um, so in order to sort of take this step one further, we now have moles of BF3 at this point in this snapshot. If we were to do this simplification, which our calculator will take care of later all at once, uh, we would have had, or we will have, uh, moles of BF3 um, uh, that is zero. So we would have the amount of moles of BF3 that consists in 0 0.25 grams. Um, and so now we want to have another conversion factor that can sort of cancel out moles of BF3 and just end up with, um, with um, what we're looking for, which is moles of B. Um, so where do you get that from? It's always about where you get that from. Um, and again, you know, you, the more you do this and the more you learn about the locations you can get them from, the more efficient you'll be at stringing along these conversion factors. Uh, and, and so you'll look at sort of the chemical reaction up here and, you're, and, and since this is balanced, if it weren't balanced, we couldn't do this, which is why it's so important to balance beforehand. But since this is balanced, um, what we can do in this case is we can say, um, let's see here. Uh, what we can say is we can, uh, what we can say in this case is, uh, that, uh, you know, just looking at the chemical reaction since it's balanced, this is completely valid. Uh, we can say that, okay, two moles of BF3 give me two moles of B, right? So two um, BF3 um, equals uh, two moles of B, right? Uh, that's sort of our conversion factor. Two moles BF3, um, our conversion is two moles of B. Conversion, right? And, and you can put that here, right? You can just say two moles of of BF3, give me two moles of B. And, and, and your BF3s would cancel out. You're left with uh, moles of B. That's what you wanted, right? Um, so if you were to go back and sort of plug this into a calculator, 
uh, and what you would plug into the calculator is 0 0.25 multiplied by 1 over uh, 67.81 uh, multiplied by 2 over 2, uh, you would effectively, uh, you would effectively get, um, let's see what you would get. Uh, you would get 0 0.0036 or 37, depending on uh, the decimal places that you considered. Um, but uh, 0 0.0036 uh, moles of V would be, would be your final answer.